How's it going YouTube? It's Free Junkie here and today we're going to be talking about my Moto G right here, this device, and it's finally time to get our root on. So I'm going to show you how to root this device. There's one prerequisite I just want to mention is that you have to have an unlocked bootloader to use this root method. Now, I've already done a video on that, so no big deals. I'll probably link it right up here. So definitely check out that video uh, if you haven't unlocked the bootloader already. But if you've done that, then you should be able to follow along greatly with this video. So I hope you've enjoyed it, and let's go do it. So here you go, this is the Moto G 3rd Gen, and there's a couple things we're gonna to need to do on this device. I really love this device, actually. It's really been a good device for me so far. Um, we're gonna to need to go down here to About Phone, and after you unlock the bootloader, you have to turn Developer Options on one more time. So just tap on the build number until it says, no need, you're already a developer. Go back, go into Developer Options, and make sure the OEM unlock is checked and the USB debugging is checked. You got both of those checked, then we're going to come in here and uh, say no thanks for right now, and we're going to search for SuperSue, if I can type it in, um, dot, let's do dot, uh, zip, and we'll go ahead and do a search, and basically the first site that should come up should be XDA, which it is, and I'll give you a link to this, so no big deal. There it is, Super Sue, stable, right? So we're just gonna scroll down here to the link and we're gonna go ahead and download Super Sue. So there is the link. Don't worry, I'll give you a link to it, direct link to it in the video description, so it shouldn't be that hard to do. Here we go, and actually, it's already downloading it. <laughs> downloading it twice, actually, just fine. Just make sure it's on your device, you're gonna need it later. Um, it can be an internal SD card or external SD card, it really doesn't matter. So, we've got that all set up. Let's go over to my computer and download the files we're going to need to get root access on the Moto G 3rd Gen. This is my site here, rootjunkiesdl.com, and you're just going to make sure you've got all this stuff on your computer. You probably already do if you unlocked your bootloader, but I'm just going to cover it really quickly. So you need your ADB fastboot files right here. Those are mine. So you should have those already if you unlock the bootloader. You're going to need the drivers. So drivers, Motorola, download the latest, and should be good there. Uh, besides that, um, you're going to need to have the recovery. So right here is the test recovery. It's test one or maybe a beta uh, Torp recovery image for the 2015 Moto G 3rd Gen. So you're going to have to download this file. Right here is a download link. Really easy, okay? I'll give you links to this. No big deal. All right. So we forget about all that stuff. Um, let's go ahead and click over here. This is just where I keep my fastboot and ADB files. So they are here and here. No big deal. So I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard, right click, open command window here. That's going to open a command window in this folder so I can run ADB and fastboot commands. Now, before I do that, before I go any farther, we're going to go ahead and plug in our device. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, there we go. It wants to spin on me. Now, if you get this prompt, make sure you say always allow and OK. Again, it'd be the same thing unlocking the bootloader. It's the same process. So you've probably seen that before. But just remember, you got to do it again. From here, we're going to type in ADB uh, devices. And that's going to just prove that um, our device is connected and everything looks good. It does. So we're going to do uh, ADB reboot boot loader, boot loader is all one word, and hit enter. And that should get us to the boot loader screen. Just like that, you can see it right there. And then if your drivers haven't installed here, give them a little bit to install. Mine already have, I'm gonna do fast boot devices. And again, it gives me my serial number and it says fast boot. So again, this proves that fast boot is functional. Now is the fun part. So we're gonna to need to open up our, right there's our Torp recovery image, you can see it. And here is our, there we go, our command window. And we can do two things. One, we can either boot the Torp recovery image, which would keep stock recovery intact, or we can flash it. So the two commands are gonna be either fast boot flash recovery, 
and then the recovery image name, including the .img at the end, or it's going to be fast boot boot, um, and then the recovery image. So I'm actually going to do a fast boot boot, and this is going to keep stock recovery intact for OTA updates, um, which I kind of like doing that on any of these newer devices. So I'll do fast fast boot boot, drag the uh, recovery image into the f uh, command window. So fast boot boot space, drag the image in, and then hit enter. And it looks like it's going to boot it. Okay, good. Some devices I find the fast boot boot doesn't function. You have to actually flash it, but it looks like this one will. And boom, there is twerp recovery, which is just awesome. All right, so you're gonna be done on the computer at this point. Let's go over to the device. Okay, so here it is. We're at the device and it's got two options, which are really kind of important. So one of them is to leave everything on the device completely alone so that your OTA updates will still work and all that. But if we're gonna flash anything, we're gonna have to change it on the device anyway. So it really doesn't matter if we're gonna flash root, it's gonna get changed. So I wouldn't say keep read only, I would um, swipe to allow modifications because you're gonna be modifying it when you uh, get Torp uh, or Super Sue on it. So then we're gonna go to install. I mean, you could do a backup here first if you wanted. Um, I'm not really worried about it myself, but that might be something you would want to do at this point. I can always do a firmware restore and get my device fully restored. And I'll probably do a video on that, on that at some point. Now we're going to go to downloads. And here are your Super Sue zips. So we're going to click one. We're going to swipe across to root the device. Thanks to Chainfire for uh, building Super Sue for us and making these zips. It just makes this so simple. Then we're going to go ahead and do reboot system. That's it. Stock recovery remains on your device. There is the warning bootloader unlocked warning that you're going to get once you unlock the bootloader. It'll be on every boot up unless you change the boot logo, which you could. And there's our boot animation. And as soon as this boots up, I'll show you that we have root access on the Moto G 3rd Gen. So really pumped about that. Let's just let this thing boot. So you are going to get this Android is starting just because you put a new app in there, which is the Super Suit application. So we'll go in here and we'll click on there, slide over it. There it is, Super Sue. Um, cannot send, oh, it's a notification. I have an old one. And then you hit no thanks and you're good. As long as it doesn't give you any warning about Sue binaries, you're golden. You have root access. You can check it with root checker if you want, but if you get to this screen, you got root access. So that's pretty awesome and that is really it. Very simple to do, very easy. Um, no problems at all. Once you have an unlocked bootloader and you have that uh, test twerp image, you're good to go. Hopefully there'll be an official twerp supported very soon. And if there is, I'll definitely try to link it in this video so that you guys can find that file very easily. That's going to be it for me. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, stay tuned for more coverage on the Moto G 3rd Gen, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Rude Junkie, out.